Hey, welcome back lads, so let's talk some more about the Zombies mode in Black Ops 6 and the return of the Gobblegum system from Black Ops 3 because we have, well, another leak about this and just a lot to talk about when it comes to this topic in general. It was leaked and rumoured back last year, so a long time ago that Gobblegums might be returning and now that that is confirmed, the question everyone wants to know is, well, how is the system gonna work? Is it gonna work exactly like it did back in Black Ops 3? Well, no, I don't think so. And that is because they were unlocked by a gambling system, a random loot box, or basically a zombies version of supply drops, and there is a reason, many reasons actually, why Call of Duty no longer does these loot boxes, and the main one is that some countries have passed laws against gambling in video games, so now COD has, as we know, moved on to more direct systems like the Battle Pass and Store Bundles, so I think that here in Black Ops 6, Zombies Gobblegums will work similarly to that, where there'll be some kind of like, crafting system or something like that, where you spend a currency to directly craft the couple gums you want. Now my guy Expert Fusion on Twitter posted this real nice concept art of what that could potentially look like. Remember in Cold War Zombies you could earn these crystals to use as a currency to permanently upgrade your perks, field upgrades and stuff like that? Well what if you could use those crystals to directly purchase the couple gums that you want? And I think that would work well. The way that you earn them is very important as a very important part of the whole system because gobble gums are of course a um, consumable upgrade. I think most of us know how it works but just in case there's anyone who doesn't, you only have a limited amount of gums in your inventory and once you use one, it takes one. Now COD3 Intel was one of the leakers who first said last year that gobble gums may be returning and they also said that the system will not be pay to win so paying to get gobble gums will not give you an unfair advantage apparently. Meanwhile, another leaker, Bob Network, tweeted and quickly deleted, saying that you can still pay for them, of course. I mean, if you can pay for them, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not pay to win or it is pay to win. So yeah, of course you can still buy them. You know, you can buy COD points to spend on Gobblegums. I mean, it's a money-making system. It's a microtransaction after all. But at the end of the day, surely here in Black Ops 6, the system will be more fair than the previous versions where it was a loot box. Another way that you could potentially unlock them and spend money to get them is in the battle pass and store bundles, kind of like how right now in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare Zombies, right? In the battle pass you can get some of the ether upgrade tools to upgrade your weapon, pack a bunch crystals and stuff as like battle pass items and um, store bundle items as well. You know that now in Black Ops 6 Zombies we're going to have a main crew of characters but that doesn't mean that those characters won't have customization. So there could be like zombies specific store bundles that will have gobble gums which once again it's a bit weird because you use them and then they're gone. It's a consumable so you're spending money on it. Personally something I wouldn't do but it's there. So yeah, I think that the direct crafting system is the most likely thing that we'll see how you earn gobble gums in Black Ops 6, but how are we actually going to obtain them in game? Like, I think how it worked in Black Ops 3 worked very well. Remember you had like a pack of five gobble gums that you'd take into the match, like a creator class, and then you'd get them out of the gumball machines placed around the map. It's like a mystery box, but for gums. And in Black Ops 4 with the elixir system, it worked differently where you had four elixirs that you could kind of activate as you want with the d-pad arrows but then they were on a cooldown so you could just continuously do it so you know the more rare the elixir the longer it would take to kind of refill or recharge up for usage and I don't think that system sucked either necessarily but we do look back at Black Ops 3 with more positivity and overall I do think the gobblegum system like how you actually get them worked better so yeah I would think I'd want the Black Ops 6 Gobble Gums to work pretty much how we did with gumball machines placed around the map. Now that is about that, I think that's all the information and speculation we have about Gobble Gums, so yeah, of course I'll keep you updated with any updates, but yeah, stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.